Hello guys and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. So in today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about this iPad. This is actually the iPad first generation which I got on launch and I've used it quite a lot over the years. Now recently it's actually developed a problem with the home button where the home button has become really unresponsive. Now for me it wasn't a big issue because I actually just purchased the iPad mini so this was kind of redundant. But I wanted to give it to a family member but obviously with the home button not working it's kind of a big issue since iOS does rely heavily on the home button in terms of closing apps and so on. So I had a few options, I could maybe got the iPad fixed but I really didn't want to spend any money on it so that wasn't the best option. Two, I could maybe try and fix it myself but it's quite hard to get into the iPad especially if you're not used to doing them so there's always a chance I could break the iPad even more so I decided that wasn't a good option either. So after a little bit of think about it, I did realise that I could actually just turn on multitasking gestures on the iPad and this will eliminate the use of needing to use the home button. So how you do this is quite simple, you just go into settings, not a lot of people actually know about this. Then you go down to general and you scroll down to multitasking gestures and you make sure you turn that on. Once you've turned that on you can now use multitasking gestures to do a lot of the features what the home button usually does. So for example you can use four fingers to close an application, you can use four fingers to swipe up to bring up multitasking and four fingers to close it and also an extra little benefit from using um, multi gestures is if you're in an application you can actually use switching by just using four fingers like so to switch between your applications. If your iPad's asleep obviously you don't need to use the home button there either you can just use the power button to wake it such as that. So really there's no really need to use the home button when you're using an iPad. So using these gestures you don't really need to use the home button which is pretty good. Unfortunately if you're using something like an iPhone or an iPod Touch you can't really use gestures on there so unfortunately you're kind of stuck with a broken home button unless you get it repaired. But someone with an iPad with a broken home button I think this is a really good solution. So thanks for watching this video everyone. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.